Hey Geraldine, hope you're okay. Uh, so this is just going to be a quick video that's just going to guide you through some practice routines. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the spider exercise. So we're going to go down uh, or up in pitch, if you will, and then back up again, then back down, then back up again. Okay, so we're going to use that as our primary warm up. So we're going to do that with a metronome just at 60 beats per minute as well. Um, that's going to be a good way to, to get the fingers moving, to get the blood flowing in your hands um, and it also increases your, your accuracy, your timing and your coordination between your right and your left hand as well. So, Okay, so we're going to start with that at 60 beats per minute. You're going to hear four clicks at the beginning and that's going to be your signal to start. Okay. Okay, so that is our spider exercise. Next, we're gonna have a look at a couple of chords, okay? So first of all, we're gonna have a look at G. And the way we're playing G is by simply playing our open fourth string, open third string, open second string, and then using our third finger on the third fret of the first string. Playing these all together. And the way that we're going to do this as an exercise is first of all we're going to play what's called an arpeggio so a broken version of the chord so where we go and then we'll play a full version of the chord okay here's the example with the track So the next chord we're going to play is D major. Um, we're going to play D major by, uh, again, not playing our top two strings. We're going to play our fourth string open. We're going to use our first finger on the second fret of the third string. We're going to then place our second finger on the second fret of the first string, leaping over that second string. And then we're going to use our third finger to kind of plug that gap there. And we're going to play the third fret of the second string forming a, a little bit of a triangle shape. So one, two, three. Okay, and again, we're gonna play the arpeggio. And then the full chord, okay? Here's the example with the track. So our next chord is going to be A minor. Uh, we are going to play A minor uh, with five strings on this occasion. So this is the only chord of these four that we play with five strings. So first of all, we will play the open fifth string. Then we're going to play the second fret of the fourth string with our second finger. Then we're going to use our third finger just to sit on the string below, also on the second fret, to give us this. Use our first finger and that's going to sit on the first fret of the second string and then we're going to play our first or bottom 
thumb string open. Okay, so let's do that with the track. Okay, lastly we have a C chord. And the way we're gonna play a C chord is very, very similar to our previous chord, A minor. Uh, so all we would do from our A minor position is remove our third finger, leaving our second and first fingers in the same positions that they were when we played the previous chord. And this time we're gonna leave out our open fifth string. So we're just back to playing our fourth, third, second, and first strings. So our D, G, B, and E strings. Okay, and it's gonna sound like this. Okay, let's play that with the exercise. Okay, so now using those chords, uh, we've already briefly looked at knocking on heaven's door. So what we're gonna do is we're actually now gonna just play through that song. So I will play it at the tempo that the track is played at with the backing track. Um, and then what you can do is play along at your own leisure. Uh, you might wanna start by just strumming a chord at the beginning of the bar and just getting used to it. Um, and then we can start picking out the details later on. So it's gonna use exactly the same chords. So our G, our D, A minor, and C. And that's the only four chords that it uses, so that's why the exercise before was handy. Okay, right, so we're gonna play this with the backing track. Knocking on heaven's door. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's the track all the way through. Uh, you already have the sheet music for this as well. So uh, happy playing and I will see you next week. Cheers now, bye bye.